Okay, so since we have these notes already here, let's go ahead and use these. Let's, uh, let's just pretend that this is uh, from a score and we see the, these four notes written in this exact way in some sort of musical score. And we will take this and the first thing we're going to do is to take these four notes and put them into what we're going to call order, which means we're going to put them in alphabetical order, and which will put them within an octave. So let's just take the bottom note here and we'll go C and then the next note alphabetically is D flat. Next note alphabetically is F sharp and the next note is B flat. So this is what we would call putting these in order, um, which is basically putting them into alphabetical order um, and which puts them within one octave. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to take these four notes, which we're going to call a set, these, this uh, pitch class set, and we're going to take these and we're going to try to get them, in, invert them in different ways to get them into the smallest uh, interval possible. Right now we have a minor seventh as our interval with notes in between. What we want to do is see if we can find some different inversions that will allow us to compress these four notes in as much as we can. So let's just invert it a couple of different times. So let's just put the D flat on the bottom and see what we have there. Then let's put the F sharp on the bottom and see what we come up with. Uh, C and D flat. And then let's put the B flat on the bottom and let's see what happens with that. So if we take these different inversions, this one is a minor seventh um, as of the outer interval. This one, D flat to C, is a major seventh. Um, F sharp to D flat is uh, actually a diminished sixth, but we're going to think in harmonically here, and we're going to say this is a perfect fifth. Um, here we have uh, an augmented perfect fifth, which um, would be a, a, a uh, you could think of it as a minor sixth or an augmented fifth, but we're going to call it a augmented fifth. Again, in harmonics. Um, are big in this music, so you can think whatever way is easiest for you. Now, as we t as we look at these four different uh, manifestations of this pitch class set, the most compressed version of these four notes is the F sharp on the bottom, and so we will call this normal order. Normal order is when we have compressed the notes in as far as they can be compressed. Now, this is one way to do it. It's kind of a long way to do it. I'm going to show you a little bit quicker method to get to this um, by writing down letters um, on just a regular piece of paper rather than putting notes on a staff. So let me do that. So let's go back to where we were, C, D flat, F sharp, D flat. I'm gonna write them over here as letters C, D flat, F sharp, B flat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate how many notes are missing between the notes that we have to see what kind of intervals are between these notes. So between C and D flat, there is nothing missing. So I'm not going to calculate any notes missing in there. How many notes are missing between D flat and F? Well, we have D, E flat and E, which uh, are in there. Oh, this is F sharp. So we have four missing notes. We have D, E flat, E, and F missing in there. How many notes are in between F sharp and B flat? Well, we have G, A flat, and A. Then how many notes are, and we're going to wrap this around back to C because we need to see what interval exists there. So how many notes are between B flat and C? Uh, B natural exists there. 
and you should end up with 12 possible notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the biggest interval, which is this between these two notes, and we're going to put that on the outside. So we're going to bring these two notes over. So it's going to be F sharp, B flat, C, D flat. And that's going to give us the biggest interval on the outside. When we get our biggest interval on the further out, uh, further um, furthest side to the right, that will give us our normal order, which gives us the least range. Um, F sharp to B flat. Uh, is the least range that we could have done. This is just a different way to get there. So you could just invert all those, count the outer interval, and find your normal order. Or you can do it this way, which I find to be quicker, um, and get the normal order through that process. Now, once we have normal order, what we're going to do is we're going to assign the first letter the number zero. Now we're going to turn all the letters into numbers. And there are 12 notes in the chromatic system, so there will be a possibility of 12 different uh, notes with given numbers. But since we're giving the first one zero, there's going to be a possibility of 11 other numbers. So what we would do here is we would, we would assign numbers to these letters. So this would be a, a zero, a G would be one, G sharp would be two, A would be three, B flat would be four. So we're gonna assign that as four. B natural would be five, and C would be six, and then D flat would be seven. So the, we can uh, name this set class as zero, four, six, seven, possibly. But now what we have to do is read it from right to left and do the exact same process. So if we read it from right to left, we're gonna come up with different numbers. This would be a D flat. If we go right to, let me do it this way. If we go right to left, reading it this way, we're gonna come up with zero as D flat, and then one is C, three is B flat, four, five, six, seven is F sharp. So then the set would be zero, one, three, seven if you read it that way. So what you do now is you take these two sets of numbers and you um, find which one packs closest to zero. So zero to one is packed tighter than zero to four. So this would be the name of our set. Zero, one, three, seven. This we will call best normal order. And it will also be known as prime form prime form. And once you get your numbers, what you would do would be you would put a bracket around them. Zero, one, three, seven with a bracket like that. This is our prime form, um, our best normal order. If we're using the letters, this is our best normal order. And we will put a curly Q around these. It matters what kind of bracket that we use. When we're using letters, we're going to use this bracket. When we use the prime form numbers, we're going to use this bracket. So as just a, a quick overview, the first thing you do is you put this into order, which is in, the, in alphabetical order. Then you find the normal order, which is um, you get your biggest interval on the outside. So this is the normal order, which is here. Um, and then your best normal order is you read it this way and then you read it that way and you assign the numbers that are packed tightest to zero. 
This is our best normal order prime form of this set. And if you did the same thing to that set, you would see it is also a 0137. That's how we would see that these two things are the same. That is the beginning of set theory.